Hey everyone, and Happy New Year. I know you're all probably busy charging into firefights with Neon right now, but it's been a bit since we've had a chance to chat, so I figured I'd take a minute, catch up, and then share some info with you on our Act 2 plans for Episode 4. During our first year live, we were pushing pretty hard on the dev side, listening and learning a lot, and quite frankly, trying to keep up. We hold a pretty high bar for ourselves, and it was incredible to see you push it even higher. We delivered agents, maps, weapon skins, and memes that we hoped you would find as exciting to play as they were for us to dream up. You showed up, act over act, for all sorts of Valorant moments, like our Arcane collaboration, and that incredible champion series where we all tuned in to watch Ascend beat some of the best teams in the world, becoming our first ever Valorant champions. By the end of last year, I truly believe you, our players, really helped establish Valorant's voice and our community. Now here we are, 2022, and we have ambitions, lots of them in fact. Every product team has a roadmap full of amazing content and features that will really push Valorant for the years to come. But you know what? Dreams like ours should be built on a super strong foundation, and that is going to be the overall theme of Act 2, strengthening that foundation. We'll be dedicating that act to the overall health of our game. So what does that mean? Well, first, and let's get it out of the way, there will be no new agent or map in Act 2. Instead, lots and lots of updates that target agent balance, existing maps, promoting good player behavior, and even better ranked experience, things like that. Here's the thing, sometimes you need to just take a minute. You need to take a look around and make sure things are the way they should be. And that's what we're doing for this act. It's not fancy. And honestly, it's more of what we're already doing and what we'll continue to do. Alongside seeing those changes in game, you'll be hearing a lot more from us, more details on all the changes we have planned. For example, you should have already seen a rundown on the Yoru rework from the characters team. If you haven't, go check it out. And if you haven't read our ongoing report on Smurfs and AFKs from our game systems teams, go check that out too. And now I get to ask you for something. Let's chat more. Every change or improvement we make to the game is for you, the ones playing it, and you can help us make those improvements happen. Frequent back and forth chats on potential changes with our devs, AMAs, anything else we can think up and show you along the way. We'll open up even more lines of communication, let you in a little bit more. You'll see our mess and that's okay. Now, don't worry, in Act 2, you'll still get cool new skins and our first ever community battle pass. Our premium content team has been hard at work on all of that. Oh, and we'll pick up right where we left off with a new agent in Act 3. 2022 is going to be a big year for Valorant. There are some really exciting new features on the horizon, like our very own in-game team-based tournament system. We'll share more soon on that and more. Our goal this year is to keep our amazing player community, that's you, engaged with more content, new features, and continued support. And we want to welcome in even more of you. On behalf of the Valorant team, a huge thank you for being on this journey with us. Take care of yourselves, and we'll chat soon.